Good morning. Welcome back to In the Garden. Paul and Taft here. And spring season, we've already taken care of a lot of our fruits, a lot of our vegetables. We have those in the ground. Now we're going to talk about something else. It's time to plant, and it's the beautiful dogwood. This is probably the best year in the last 15 or 20 years for dogwoods. I'm going to, I'm going to say it's because of the weather. Yes. But they're just spectacular. They're really? flowering all over the city. So great tree for this area. Most important consideration is where you put it. Okay. It is a true understory tree, meaning it likes to grow beneath the shade of mature trees. So it needs to be sited in an area where morning sun's fine, but it's got to be protected from that afternoon shade or they will fry. Okay. And what do we normally see when we're talking about heights of these? Because like in my yard, I have a big pecan tree. These would fit perfectly in there. Are we talking 20, 25 feet made tops? Or? Some varieties. We've okay. all, there's also shrub forms of dogwood. Oh, okay. um, there's dwarf, more dwarf forms. So there's a lot of different ones to choose from. There's single trunk, there's multi trunk, white flower, pink flower, all kinds of choices really. This is the native dogwood, Cornus Florida. This is actually native to the southeastern United States. Does extremely well here. And then there's Cornus Cusa, which is the Asian form of a dogwood. And an interesting thing about that one is it develops a fruit that's edible. Hmm, never Almost that. looks like a strawberry. After it flowers yeah. and forms a seed, it, it looks like a strawberry and it's kind of a tropical pudding taste. Like that'll be later in the year, so we can't sample them now, but we will. Are we able to have those grow here? Because that is really kind of an interesting type of dogwood. They do great here. And one of the coolest things is if you plant both, the native dogwood will flower about a month earlier hmm. and then the Asian one will flower so you can get this continuous bloom period because the flowers only last two to three weeks typically. But you can extend that bloom season if you'll plant both varieties. And then after they obviously bloom, they fall off and we go through the summer season, then the fall is when we're also going to get to enjoy this because of the color of the leaves. Spectacular fall color. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's hard to beat the dogwood. It just is so perfect for our area. Um, and there's some forms that people probably aren't familiar with, including a variegated form that I've got right down there. You want to take a look at that? Let's take a look at it. All right, Paul, we're taking a look at that variegated dogwood that you're talking about. I love the name of this thing, Wolf Eyes. <laughs> yeah, this is the Cornus Cusa. This is an okay. Asian form, but Wolf Eyes is just absolutely gorgeous because that variegated foliage is so unusual for a dogwood and flowers prolifically. Um, you know, these might get in this area, I'm guessing around 15 feet at maturity, maybe a little bit taller, but and need to be sited the same as all other dogwoods. They need that protection from the afternoon sun, but a beautiful specimen out in the yard. And this is something where people will go by and they'll be, well, what is that? I've never seen that before because yeah. it's an unusual plant. Yeah, I being one of those. And the nice thing about it, we've talked about this, you know, over the last weeks and even years, we've talked about the difference in this color compared to some of the others. And you look at it with the normal kind of dogwood that we see. Just look at the difference in the variation of color. It's just going to give you that extra color, that different type of green that we haven't seen. Speaking of different kinds of green. Yes. Care to squat? Let's do this. All right. Look at this. This is called Garden Glow. Okay. And I am so in love with this. I planted three of these last year, but this is a dogwood. It's a shrub form, grows to about three to four feet tall and wide. So nestled in a shady spot in a flower bed, this is just an awesome plant and it's just now starting to flower. So those will open up and well, there's a couple of them that have already opened. Little white flowers, just has so much interest in the landscape. I love this. Yeah, and I've never heard of a dogwood that you could put in a shrub form, so that's a nice thing. You can get really tall dogwoods, kind of the medium size, or you can get it in shrub form. So no matter where you're at in the yard, you can always make sure that you put a dogwood in there. Well, it's kind of like us. There's the tall and there's the short. Well, not, but not that much, not that much. <laughs> Clearly, I can't say enough good things about dogwoods. Super strong wood. The wood density is super strong. In fact, one theory says that the name came from dagwood because in ancient times they would use the wood to make daggers. So hmm. dagwood became dogwood. So one of the easiest trees you can put in the yard and it's gonna give you this color right on through the spring and then the beautiful fall foliages move into the fall. Can't be beat. Sounds good.